So, yeah, right, it's a gun video. Not mad me. Anyway. <laughs> Josh ringed me up. <laughs> Getting on with them guns. <laughs> oh, did you not watch the video? <laughs> I'm doing them now. However, in the Lux Ice I did just previously, um, Remember the story about the short and bolt spring, right? Now, what Josh has found is that when the bolt system's out of the gun, this is a totally standard bolt here. Um, he's having to pull the bolt forward. That is the amount of friction you're getting out of the system. So this is a standard Lux ice, standard Lux bolt and cam. Uh, so I'm going to push this down and then let it go. It does not come all the way out. You have to pull it that extra bit. Um, what I'd like to do, we were talking about machine differences and tools wearing, right? Um, show you another one. Uh, serial numbers. Let's do serial numbers. Hang on. This is 17,000. This is 18,000. The bolt on this one it's much, much slicker. When I let go of the bolt, it's coming all the way forward and I'm not pulling it. Remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of trying to get rid of that pop. This one here is going to pop. This is going to need so much pressure, then the bolt's going to go. This one is going to be linear and progressive. So uh, what I'll be doing with this one is measuring or oh, miking up all the tracks for the O-rings see how much difference there is between this one uh, it might only be a couple of foul in it but you'll be surprised when you put a couple of foul on the circumference we've now quadrupled it because you have two sides to every circle right? <gasps> Physics for paintball players oh my god it's all about the numbers man so I've got another one here uh, we're going to take this one out as well. This also has quite a slick bolt, and that's returning all the way out as well. So what I'd like to do is to get this one doing exactly the same thing. Um, I could work out a, a measurement for working out the amount of drag or friction, or stiction is actually the proper word in this uh, situation. But I'm not going <laughs> to. I just simply don't do that many luxes anymore. Uh, so we're going to get these done today. This one is absolutely lovely. This is uh, it's very uh, subdued. It's a very, very light splash, but it's almost like um, more like a marble type effect. Very nice. And uh, it's understated, man. It's something that the owner loves that he doesn't have to show to everybody else. It's very, very nice. I really do like that. That is just uh, well, yeah, the sort of thing I'd have, actually. Very nice indeed. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Oh, I'll help if I get in the shot, right? I then other people are thinking, no, 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 they don't get in the shot. There's uh, <laughs> no fucking rush. So, uh, I'm going to pop these three out this afternoon. I'm at an impasse at the moment. With, uh, I'm waiting for loads of uh, motorcycle uh, suspension parts, etc., etc. So, I've just been here today twiddling my thumbs, waiting for parts and bits and bobs and orders to come in, which looks like they're going to turn up tomorrow. Oh, XT project. I have a large plastic uh, desert tank coming. So, I can get that on there and start working out where everything else is going to go. Then start doing the, the mount for the rear rolling suspension. Yeah, it's about time, right? It's been a while. Um, that's it. I'm going to listen to some music now. Yeah, oh, it's been a long day. So, get these done today, get these done and out. Um, see if we can come up with an adequate solution for the stitching problem. While I'm at it, I'm also going to be measuring all the exhaust pulps and see if, uh, I mean, 
on the old 2.0 models, when I suggested going from the exhaust port at being anywhere from half a, half a mil up to about 0 0.80, uh, they did indeed pick up on what I was saying about the exhaust port being 1 mil to 1.2 mil, which is half the diameter of the feather touch screw size. Um, it makes a big difference and stops the gun popping. Uh, so um, we'll get this done there and um, put up another video and we've got them done. I'll see you later, lads. Turn up. I'm coming behind the screen.